This is my portfolio website. First, I'll demonstrate to you my website, and then I'll tell you how to create creative portfolios that don't just look like a template website. So first, let's look at the website. We go get in here and we can read the description and then click start. And then we get to the next page. This character represents me. And then we can select hats in order to see what it does. After selecting a hat, you can see, or a bow tie, you can see the description. And as a good worker, you often will need to adapt to different roles and responsibilities and be able to wear different hats. So you get the idea where it comes from. Then we get the next page, which is, it shows the information about me in the basic HTML and you get to fix a bug. And you can click from the options or you can just select show me a fix. If you get it wrong, then it tells you that it's wrong. And after you get it right, you can view it as a text instead of just the code. And let's go to the next page. And we can download my projects since it is a portfolio website. So I'll need to demonstrate something I know and something I did in the past. So let's click download. And then it tells you that you downloaded a virus and you click on folders to see where the virus is, but I got it from the first try. So we click delete. And now we get to move on forward to the next page with my projects. And here you can select any of my projects and view the GitHub the demo or the dribble, or sometimes there's just GitHub and demo and the description, like one line description of the website. And here it quizzes you on some things that I know or some things that I did. And I, once you answer the question right, you get to see the list of my skills and the technologies I use. And now it shows some of the websites I made in the past, back when I was just starting out programming I mean web development specifically, as well as you can see where I was before and how I am now. So this is the end of the view of my portfolio website. And here you can also select quick tour where you can see, explore more about like my experiences or my skills that I did, which is just like the quick view in case someone doesn't want to go through all those pages. So how I came up with the website is that I believe that a portfolio website should not just represent you through words and content, but also through what it is itself. Because actions matter more than words. And the same thing as here, like an image or what you see, what I did, is matters more than just words on the page. And so I got inspired by the game, The Evolution of Trust by Nikki Kays. If you've noticed, the art patterns and everything is similar to his. In fact, from the page one, two of the hats, this one and this one, are from the game. But everything else, the artwork was made by me. And what I built this website with Nick.js, TypeScript, Tailwind CSS, Framer Motion for Animations. And I did the illustrations in Procreate. Let's see what else. And you can also at the end, you can see my LinkedIn, my resume, or here you can also view my socials. So yeah, this is it for my portfolio website. And I hope that you liked it and that you can create something similar or something that represents you well.